What's going on guys, it's your boy the GCC back with another room tour. I'm really excited to show you guys part two in this series. Now last time we talked about that whole side of the Lego room, which you guys should definitely check out if you didn't check that out already. Today we're going to be checking out these shelves over here on um, the table and then what I've been doing with my minifigures. Um, I'll show you guys that coming up soon. But starting with this shelf, of course we have the micro scale Hogwarts Castle, which I think released back in like 2018. I love this castle. Of course, it comes with uh, four solid minifigures, as you guys can see right over there. I love those minifigures. I think they're like the house uh, creators of Hogwarts. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I love this set. Of course, you do have some interior space. I'm um, looking around the back and stuff like that. But I love it. Now let's continue. Um, we have some random like space set. I honestly don't know when I picked this up. Honestly, it's been a while. Um, apparently, though, the top part can come off and it becomes like a mech and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Of course, here we have a um, exclusive uh, like promo. Let's see, Hans Christian Anderson. So what a fun little promo. I don't know when that was. Of course, we got Grogu or the child or Baby Yoda or whatever you want to call him. Um, I love that buildable figure. I definitely think it's one of the best Lego has done. Of course, we have some Lego Star Wars promos and stuff like that. Of course, we have the Dark Darth Raven, uh, Revan, I'm sorry, uh, Polybag, of course, we have the Chrome Stormtrooper, we have Admiral Yularen, um, let's see, what do we have here, oh, we have Aunt Edna, is it Aunt Edna, or Edna, I don't know, from Incredibles, of course, we have some um, Lego Star Wars cards and stuff like that, and more cards in here, which is always fun, we have the best guard keychain in there, and of course, um, this year's May 4th promo is somewhere, somewhere over there, I don't know, uh, moving on down, of course, we have the most Isley Cantina, Honestly, I love this set. It's definitely one of my favorite master builder sets of all time. Of course, you can see the interior space, and I really like how it's displayed on the shelf. Of course, it is kind of hanging off just a little bit, but I still think it fits pretty nice, and it really just shows off the amazingness of the build. Of course, moving underneath, we have a uh, the 2021 TIE Fighter, and then, of course, we have a bunch of 501st sets. Of course, we have the 2020 ones, the 2023 ones. Um, down here, we have some Galaxy's Edge lightsabers, which I will not be showing you i will tell you though it is mace windows and of course ray uh ray's lightsaber as well which i think is pretty cool um moving on to the next shelf we have some um, hogwarts sets over here in the right i want to say that's the astronomy tower i thought it was a pretty nice set so that is why i picked it up of course then we have the architecture statue of liberty of course from new york city i love this set i think it fits great um amongst the astronomy tower and then of course on the left we have kylo ren's shuttle i love kylo ren's shuttle this is i think the 2019 version instead of the 2015 one, and I really love that set. I think it fits perfectly um, right there. Of course, you do have a lot of space in between shelves, which is nice, um, so I could put the taller stuff down there. Um, moving on up to the next shelf, we have um, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. I want to say that came out in like 2018 now or something like that. It's definitely, I'm a little bit older now, but it's nice. I thought it fit great there and of course moving on we had the clone wars malevolence one of the only capital ships lego has ever done for the clone wars or for the separatists in general um, of course this was featured in season one of the clone wars i love it i'll open it up for you guys um it is really old but of course you do have some nice interior space and stuff like that you do have some missiles you can shoot off the side which is pretty cool one of my favorite chima sets i know you guys will probably make fun of me for having a chima set but i love this set. of course it is like the croc speeder thing i don't know what it's called i love it though you get some solid minifigures of course you get some raven dude you get the crocodiles um you get some lion minifigures of course the front part can open up and stuff like that i love that set so I, that is why i picked it up of course we have the 2019 tantive 4 i love this set it just looks amazing on display here and then on the top shelf of course we have anakin's jedi interceptor i think from 2019 or 2020 um the avengers quinjet which is a pretty decent set but i definitely like the newer set better um than the older one and then, of course, we have the Stark Industries jet, which is really nice as well. And I thought it looked nice um, to the older Avengers Quinjet. Now, moving on to the table. I think you guys will enjoy my table display. So first, we have the UCS X-Wing, the brand new one. Of course, we can see um, the Luke Skywalker minifigure, which looks great and the set itself looks pretty decent of course we have the may 1st dioramas um the endor speeder chase the throne room as i just said of course we have the newer avengers quinjet which is pretty decent as well we have the guardians of the galaxy ship i want to say it's called the milano i love it i mean look at it It has its own stand and everything it just looks pretty decent honestly of course we have some lord of the rings brickheads i had to pick them up so i could um put them with my rivendell but my rivendell is in a different room maybe i'll show you guys that in a different video um 
moving on, we have some Guardians of the Galaxy 3 sets, um, which is pretty nice as well. You do get a stand, which is pretty cool. We have the, I want to say the 2022 Hawkbuster. We have a bunch of Wanda Maximoff slash Scarlet Witch minifigures in a bag there just to keep them all together. Um, this is a really messy table, honestly. Of course, we have the Phase 1 Commander Cody Helmet. We have the Imperial Armor Marauder, the Golden um, Ninjago Legacy sets. We have a 501st Battle Pack. We have the 2009 um, Clone Walker, um, that awful 4 Plus set that was like $35. We have 4 Plus is Pose X Wing. We have the Tauntaun versus ATAT. -AT. Of course, we have a Ferrari. We have um, like Captain America suit from like the What If series. We have the Hoth Bay Medical Chamber. Um, we have the Tuscan Raider Brickhead. We have an old May 4th promo. We got Luke's Land Speeder. We got another Guardians of the Galaxy 3 set. We got a Harry Potter purple bus. We got Obi Wan's hut. Um, we got some pandas just chilling around. Of course, we have that Trouble on Tatooine set with the Mandalorian. We have the Ahsoka vs. Darth Maul duel. And then, of course, we have like a little uh, VIP promo from back in the day. I love it, though. Honestly, I'm just running out of space to put these. So that's why they're kind of just like on the table for right now. So I'll once I get some more space, I'll definitely put these on a shelf. So it's kind of out of the way and, can, and I can have my full table again. Now, of course, last time you guys saw this side of the room. So I'm not going to be going over that again. As I said, definitely go check out that video. But one thing I did do is I did put a lot of my minifigures on base plates and stuff like that so just to have more space because a lot of them um, were laying on the table so I'm not going to be going through all my minifigures because that would take honestly a long long time and I do not have time for that but of course you can just kind of get a look um, they're just kind of all thrown together you have a lot of Ninjago ones on this uh, base plate but you also have a lot of Hawks and Thanos and just some random figures of course we have some phase one clones um, we have a lot of like I don't know, just random minifigures. Of course, we have some B1 battle droids. Moving on, we have a lot of Chima minifigures, some First Order minifigures, um, just some CMF characters in the back here. We have uh, some more random minifigures, I guess. I don't know. Um, of course, we have some Nexo Knight blue dudes that failed Lego theme. Anyway, not the point. We have some more Ninjago minifigures back here. And then, of course, this is one of my favorite base plates of all time right now until, I don't know, I find a one I like more. But, of course, this is the Jedi. We got the Mandalorians. Um, we have the, like, rebel random troopers. We have some Sith minifigures. And then, of course, we have um, some Ninjago minifigures back here. We got some Death Troopers. We got Cad Bane. Um, of course, we have some Adventure Time over here. Um, Jake and um, Finn, I want to say his name was. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, what an amazing base play. I love that. Of course, moving on to the next base play, we have some more random CMF minifigures. We have the What If. We got the Lego Movie 2. Of course, moving back here, we have some more CMF minifigures being um, the Lego Movie 2. Um, some Disney characters, um, some DC characters, just some collectible minifigures. I think like Series 24 or something like that. On this play back here, we got some more Star Wars minifigures. Of course, you guys can see, which, you know, you guys can pause the video if you guys want to see that. And then, um, yeah, so I'm not going to be going into all of those of course we have the UCS Republic gunship it's decent you know it's not the best UCS set but it's definitely nice to see the gunship um that big honestly I really like that of course we have my clones phase two clones you guys can take a look at that um of course we have the lion's night castle I think that came out in like 2022 or something like that I love that set um of course we have a lot of new 501st battle pack um builds of course as you guys can see here we have the 2014 um Utapal troopers with the justifier and then of course we have a bunch of other sets we got shark we got santa claus over there we have a lot of fun sets and i'll be going over the rest of the room later in uh, another episode which i think you guys will enjoy and then of course all the stuff under the table which i think you guys will enjoy i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i had a fun time um just showing off my collection honestly it really is an expansive collection i hope you guys enjoy this video if you're new the channel or you enjoyed the video go ahead hit the subscribe button i'd really appreciate it you would help out the channel big time and honestly you would make my day also go ahead and give this video a thumbs up again i'd really appreciate it and you would help out the video big time i know i say that a lot guys but it really would mean a lot hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one be sure to stay tuned for part three